For this Halloween season, there is one character and one character in particular who I have always wanted to be. And I'm talking about since I was we, because I have always loved old cartoons, especially Scooby-Doo. <laughs> and today's video is sponsored by June's Journey, but more on them in a little bit. Now, I know this might come out of left field for some of you, but I am a huge Scooby-Doo nerd. My favorite times during the summer was when I got to go to Kings Island Park, back when it was still Paramount's Kings Island and had Hanna-Barbera Land, and you could just be surrounded by Scooby-Doo's everywhere. But today, I'm gonna tackle Daphne. I have always loved Daphne's look, and I just really want to Use up some of those fabrics from the estate sale because Scooby-Doo premiered in September of 1969. And the shop closed up in 1981, so it is highly possible that I have fabrics that the people who drew Scooby-Doo actually modeled this dress off of. Am I basically going to be trading modern polyester for double-knit vintage polyester, which is arguably more heinous? Yes! Yes, I am! Because vintage double knit polyester is truly just a super thick plastic knit fabric that was made infamous by the leisure suit. However, as I feel that it is more sustainable to make a garment than to just throw it in the trash, that's how we ended up here. So to accomplish this look, I have this pattern, Simplicity 5655, in my stash, which I am going to use creatively. I'm going to start with just the bodice section of this to create Daphne's top section. Because in the original cartoon, you can't see a daggone thing about their clothes. No darts, no seams, no nothing, nada. So we're riding on hopes, prayers, and vibes. And then this comes with a three quarter sleeve. Am I regretting committing to a long sleeve cosplay in Florida? Yes. Yes, I am. But we're, we're going with the moment because I want the original Daphne look. I don't want any of the more modern ones, the sleeveless ones, it's fine. And I know that I could take a different way, but I don't want to. And then from the bodice, I'm going to kind of look at this reference here. McCall's 2818, because this style of dress is much similar to the look, because I don't want this bubble skirt situation here. Don't want that. So bodice, looking at this for reference to basically add length to this bodice piece, making a fisheye dart in the front as opposed to just the standard dart at the center, and then committing to the color scheme. For Daphne's dark purple, uh, that's right, bright purple, polyester double knit fabric. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be warm for the light purple. Big shocker, light purple polyester double knit from the 70s. Now, thankfully, these two colors really do work well for her and her color scheme, even knowing that depending on which episode you're watching, the colors slightly vary depending on who was coloring it that day. But those are the two that I have, and that's what we're going with. And for the ascot, I desperately wish I didn't have to say this. Bright green polyester double knit, because I don't have a single acetate or rayon or anything that isn't super thick to do for her scarf. And what is going on right now? I feel like I'm in an episode of today's sponsor, June's Journey. That's right, June's Journey is back for another sponsorship and I genuinely love this game. Between all of the beautiful graphics from the 1920s following Detective June on her journey to figure out who is behind her sister's murder and no, it's not the angry white man from next door, like in all the Scooby-Doo cartoons. And arguably, I have played this game uh, not too much, but I have now played it so much that not only have I decorated my entire Orchid Island with fun things from different seasonal sets, and just in general made a lovely little layout, except for the back corner, we're not talking about that, that I have now opened up a second island, which has now become spooky central for all the fun seasonal Halloween style buildings. And personally, I think it's not quite spooky enough. So let's go ahead and place another set of tombstones right here. Because as you decorate your island, you then get flowers, which allow you to move on to the next episode. And I really love all the 1920s style graphics that really make you feel like you're in these places in the 20s. 
And the best part, you can download it for free on Android, iOS, and PC. So if you want to join me in playing June's Journey, make sure that you are clicking the link down below in my description, or you can use the QR code that has been right here all along. And I want to thank June's Journey for sponsoring this video, but now let's go investigate how I'm going to cut this out. The next day. Hello. Uh, okay, so I slept on it, and I have a better plan. This pattern, while it's lovely and good, I don't actually need it. What I need is a ruler and some gumption, which I have. Good for us. Because after I ironed all these out so they would lay flat so I would know what I'm doing, I realized two things. Number one, this is a bust 45 pattern. I am a bust 48. I need to go up three inches. But that fabric... She has got a one and a half times stretch, which I don't usually use. So I'm going to be brave and I'm only going to add a half inch to the front and a half inch to the back so that I'm in total adding two inches to the pattern. So we go from a 45 to a 47. And then because Daphne's dress is clearly very fitted, I'm sort of hoping that it clings in a nice way and not in a oh sweet Moses way. But you know, that's the risk we take. The other thing that I have realized is I, I don't need a pattern to tell me what to do at the bottom of this. I need to draw a straight line all the way down. And then I need to take my ruler, put it on this side, angle it out to the angle that I want, and then cut it. And then once I had gotten the fabric to cooperate and stay on the table, I did some super specific calculations to get to the fact that I wanted an 18 inch skirt. So I can do a 22 inch cut in case I don't like how short it is, which is very possible. And now we pin. I don't know if I like that. I think I want it to flare out a little wider. Let's draw another one. I think we'll start there. Not the nope, these are not the double knit scissors. Nope, nope, nope. I really thought I was being slick by using my front piece to trace out my back piece, forgetting that usually the back piece is a slight bit smaller. Ah, uh, much better. Well, I've done worse. Oh. Listen, that's a lovely surprise. Wow, did I, did I pull this off on the first go around? <laughs> go me. Other than the uncomfortably tall neck. Oh, actually, okay, if it goes where, if when I sew down the facing, that's not bad. Okay, fine, I'll leave it. But right now, that's not bad at all. It's doing a weird tuck thing at the bottom and I don't know if I can fix it. It is, it is bringing in that waist though and kicking out the dress the way I want. So I don't know if I hate it. I think it's actually all right. The aggressive dart's coming in strong. All right, Daphne, great. And shockingly, it's, uh, it's too long. So I'm going to need to trim it up a little, but we'll deal with that once we add in the other skirt pieces. But yeah, this is a great start. Let's go take it back apart and uh, add in some light purple pieces. So after marking how much shorter I wanted it, it was time to cut out some accent stripes.
Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that that was super easy and I wasn't heavily sweating the entire time, but it's done. So I guess <laughs> I got to put it all back together and really hope I didn't screw this up. Getting up. Why do I do this on the floor? The next day. Welcome to yet another day of Daphne. That almost rhymed. Anyway, yes, that is right. Uh, we are still doing Daphne because I, I did the pretty transition and then I said, meh, I'm going to forget about it and I'm going to go clean my office, which is why I look kind of generally disheveled, hot, remnant, sweaty glaze. Yeah, that would be why. But we have a vaguely clean office, so, you know, can't be mad about that. Can really need to finish this project. So here's my goals to get these things done today. Number one, I actually have to even up all the stripes because I definitely haven't done that at all. I did it on one piece, so I have to actually even them up on the other ones. Two, I need to pin them all on to make sure it doesn't look like actual trash before I sew them all up. Also need to make some pockets because pockets. I feel like if Daphne were here with us now in reality as opposed to a cartoon, she would want pockets. And then I have to deal with the sleeves. And there's a slight problem with the sleeves. The sleeve that this comes with, this bottom edge, it's not straight across. So when I tried to fold it, um, it it's curving weirdly. So And I don't want to cut this tissue. So like the, it would have curved around and... <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. So... Uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of where we're at, and I'm just sitting here stalling at this point, so, uh, let's go sew some things! But before we sew anything, we must pin. Sexy. She's cute! And with the front looking great, it was time to deal with the back. Bottom, middle. This is the problem, child. Okay. Purple on purple, that's never gonna work. Where's my chalk? Found it. I don't know, man. How did I do this? The first time, maybe I should have done these all at the same time. This is why you do this all at once, kids. Repeat. That didn't work. And now we sew. Also, for those of you wondering why I don't sew with the, the little plate that's supposed to come with this, um, my father had this machine for the better part of like three years. I have no idea what that is. No clue. It, it went whew, after my mother passed away. So for those of you wondering, that's why I don't do this for shiggles. I do this because I, I literally don't have this plate and I don't really care to buy a new one. So that's why. Okay. Dart time. Dart time. Woo. I thought I wrote on all these so I wouldn't have to guess. Okay. It's fine. Woo. I'm not nervous. I don't know what you're talking about. Woo. Am I going to be super nitpicky about this? No, I don't think I am. I think we're just going to go for it.
Now do that 7,000 times over and over and over again. Don't forget to clip your threads. Well, we've now hit the part of the project where everyone else would have started as soon as they finished cutting out their stuff, but instead I decided to piece together these. But I will say I, I am quite proud of how they turned out. Now, do I just get to sew them up along the sides? <laughs> no, because we're going to add a what? Pocket! That's right. Have I made two different pocket pattern pieces from my favorite dress? Yes. Are either of them pinned to my board where they're supposed to be? <laughs> of course not. So now I get to go dig for those. Uh, and no, I will not be explaining the pile behind me. You'll just have to keep an eye on the channel to see what that's all about. Don't ask me what pattern pieces are pinned to that, I'm not willing to tell you. And with pockets all cut out, it was time to piece together the sleeve. Like this. Like this. Like this. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, listen, yes, that's a very cute sleeve, but let me tell you something when I say, whoever thought that adding a dart into a sleeve and then sillily in 2024, this person right here, deciding to use double knit polyester. I look like I'm about to go scuba diving in this thing. It's so thick. No need to go look for the captain. I'll just take my Daphne dress down to find him. I'm sure I'll be fine because this thing is thick. Yeah, my tip for this video is start your dart at the side here. Run it to the tip right there and then tie a knot or 14 at the end. Okay, not 14. That's a little too many. And I know the rule is if you don't know how to tie a knot, tie a lot, but 14 is too many, arguably. So I just tie about three to four double knots. And that's how we uh, finish the dart. All right, I got to piece together this cuff and then attach some pockets. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. It was at this point in the project that I had a distinctly bad feeling about how much thread was left in my bobbin. Well, I have a distinct problem. That is all the thread that is purple that I have left. My bobbin was already about half the size of normal because um, I didn't have a whole lot of purple because I, I didn't buy thread for this project. I just found it in my stash over here. I might maybe, maybe have enough to go down one side. So I'm going to do one side of the dress. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Attempt to refill the bobbin halfway and then keep going. <laughs> this is what happens when you do projects on a whim, folks. Okay, I managed to get one done. 
I should probably change it out now. Dear viewer, she, in fact, did not take her own advice and instead pushed forward. <laughs> that was dumb luck. And just to prove how lucky she got, here is how much thread was left in that bobbin. Don't be like me. Check your bobbin thread more regularly. Y'all, um, I have my arm, like, elbow deep in this dress, sewing on this, uh, fine zipper. I'm already so worried because it's so hot. And I live in Florida and this might have been a really bad idea. Okay, I guess I'm gonna finish the dress and I'll see you when I talk about it. Oh. And that is a done Daphne. That's right. We are all done. And, um, listen, it's a little ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. Double Knit Polyester is by far one of the most intriguing fabrics I've ever now actually sewn with. I feel like I could go to the bottom of the ocean with just a helmet on and this would protect me from the water. Logically, I know that's not how this goes, but that's what it feels like right now. I feel like I'm in a scuba suit, but it does hold structure really nicely. And unfortunately for this a little too nicely, I feel like I'm now going out into the Arctic episode as opposed to down to the bottom of the sea, but everything looks really good. I did officially try hem tape around my wrists and I'm sort of seeing why that phased itself out. And I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, June's Journey. If you do want to download their game for free, you can click the link below in my description or scan the QR code right here to play on Android, iOS, and on PC. But now let's head to the reveal. I look silly. <laughs> so if you want to join me in playing June Journey, I don't know what I'm doing, but when has that ever stopped me before?